Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hello, my darling, tell you what doing Hope you're all doing really, really well And have had a great weekend Welcome back to another video If you're new here, thanks for joining me today And please consider subscribing down below If you do enjoy my content And to all my returning subscribers Thank you so much for coming back In today's video, it's part two of my Timu collaboration And in this um, haul I have got clothing, jewellery and some home decor bits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it like I did last time, show you the non-fashion items first and then we'll do the fashion try on at the end, okay? So thank you to Timu for collaborating with me again, I really do appreciate it and I know practically everybody knows what Timu is now. If you don't, it's an online marketplace where you can basically shop everything that you can think of, fashion, jewellery, shoes, bags, makeup, tools, uh, electrical, <coughs> excuse me, electrical stuff home decor, storage, kitchen items, anything for your bathroom. They do absolutely everything on that channel, on that website, sorry, not on the channel, on the website, you can find everything. So I've picked out some really nice bits that I'm excited to share with you. So yeah, let's get straight into this Timu haul. Okay, we'll start with the little homey bits first. So I got these picks and they are olive branches and you can see they've got little olives on them. They are really, really nice. However, I did think that they was gonna be taller. So yeah, always check the measurements. I'm rubbish with measure measurements. I should really get my tape measure out when I'm, you know, ordering stuff, but I didn't. Um, but I can find a use for these and they're very on trend at the moment. Olive trees, olive branches, olive wreaths and garlands and stuff like that. And these were very cheap and you get one, two, three, four picks in the pack and they've got uh, two um stems on there as well with the olives on the end and they are really really lovely quality so i'm really looking forward to styling those up and putting them about the house somewhere possibly on my hall table i'll say and then the next item is this here and it's an olive tree now they do these in all different sizes they do the really tall ones they do the small ones I went for this medium sized one, I think it's about two and a half foot, two foot, something like that. And yeah, it's really, really nice. It's got the olives on it again. It's in this little black plant pot. You could get another pot for it and stand it inside, but it's very realistic looking. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna leave it here, I think. I think it, it's nice for my backdrop. I absolutely love it. The idea was to have these stems in my vase that I bought from B&M, but yeah, they look a bit silly in it. I need them to be bigger, so I need to get some taller ones. But for now, I'll just leave the pampas there. But I absolutely love the olive tree and the olive branches. Uh, the next thing that I picked up was this. Now, this is a belt hanger. My belts at the moment are just on a normal coat hanger and they keep falling all over the place and dropping off, it's driving me mad. So I bought this and you just slot your belts in and hang it. You can hang it either way, but I shall probably hang it like this. And then you just slot your belts in and it just keeps them all lovely and tidy. And that was so cheap. And they did them in different colours as well. I think they did them in white and brown, but I just went for the black one. Cheap and cheerful and, yeah, really practical to keep your belts tidy. So I think that was all the homey bits. Let's move on to the jewellery and accessories. I um, 
Oh, there's something down the kitchen. One sec, I just need to go and fetch it. I got this, it was down the kitchen, I've been using it. And what it is, is like a harness that you put round you. So it goes over your shoulders and it fastens and your camera fits in here. So, you know, I can do point of view cameras and uh, videos and I did use this in my last video when I was doing my cleaning in the bathroom and it came in really handy and you just slot your phone in there and yeah, you can see what you're recording. It, it's absolutely a brilliant little bit of kit if you're a content creator and this was so cheap. I think it was only £2 something and I'm really, really impressed with it. So if you have got a YouTube channel or, you know, you do um, reels or TikToks or anything like that, this is brilliant for creating content. And you can see exactly what you're doing, your hands free, you know, if you're cooking or you're doing crafts or something like that, it's absolutely perfect. And it is such a good little investment for a couple of quid. Love that. Right, we'll get on to the jewellery and accessories now. I got this pair of sunglasses. These keep popping up on my page every time I go on. And they're just these, um, I don't know what they're going to look like. Yeah, just some plain shades with like a little gradient in the, the lens. Black, plastic, yeah, you know, they feel pretty decent quality, to be fair. They feel quite sturdy. They're not flimsy or anything, and I just loved the gradient in the glass, in the lens, I should say. So, yeah, really like those. They've got so many different sunglasses on there. It's unbelievable. You know, you could get a pair to go with every outfit that you've got, really, because they're so cheap. Right, let's move on to jewellery. I've got this. Let me get the sunglasses back out. It's um, like a glasses chain and I thought this would be perfect for when you're on holiday. So it's just a glasses chain and it's got like this little very Louis Vuitton-esque looking pattern on it and it's pearl as well. Um, they did all different ones of these as well. You could get them in so many different styles and colours and you just pop pop them on the sides of your glasses I'm sure you've all seen these before you know if you wear reading glasses or anything like that you could put them on your reading glasses and basically you just put them around your neck like so and you know your glasses are there when you need them to just pop on and yeah just a little little accessory that's quite pretty as well. So yeah, really like that. I bought a couple of brooches. As you guys know, I love to wear a brooch on my blazers and they've got so many different ones, so many. So the first one that I got was this one and it looks like a safety pin and it's in this gold color. They had it in silver as well and it's got diamantes all in it. Just reminded me, like, you know, a bit punky. And, yeah, I thought it would look nice on the lapel of one of my blazers. And it actually fastens, like, do you remember the old kind of nappy pins? Or did you, when you were younger, did you have, like, um, a skirt that was pleated at the back and plain at the front? We used to wear them for skirt, like PE skirts, but... We used to wear them for school, but like PE skirts, but longer. And you'd put a pin in the skirt to hold it. Does anybody remember that? That that fashion trend back in, oh God, it's got to be in the 80s. But yeah, I absolutely love that little brooch. It's really, really sweet. And again, very, very affordable. And then I also got this one. And this one is a stiletto shoe with a flower on it. They had all different styles and colours in these. They had red, black, um, with different flowers on. That They had so many different ones, but it's absolutely beautiful. And again, I thought on a lapel, that would look really, really sweet. 
And then the last brooch that I got is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's this one and it's this gorgeous bow. How beautiful is that? Really, really nice. But as I say, it is quite big and it's a bit of a statement piece, but it's stunning. And it's really, really good quality. Really like that one. They had the earrings to match this as well, which I might pick up. Really like that. And that's just like, um, you know, just like a little pin on the back but it's beautiful it is big but on an all black outfit or a black dress or something like that i thought that would look absolutely gorgeous i also picked up a couple of pairs of earrings these are the first first pair and they're like little love hearts but they're in like this creamy white color hope you can see them okay i will put pictures on the screen of everything and they are just lovely and dainty little huggies with in white hearts they are so sweet and then i've got this pair of earrings this pair of earrings <laughs> you're not going to believe it was 17 pence i mean how how do they do this? 17 pence. What can you get for 17 pence these days? You can't get anything, can you? But they're these little, like, uh, well, they look like little droppers with diamantes and then like a bigger diamante in the middle. They're beautiful. And for 17 pence, I couldn't not, could I really? They are gorgeous. I also picked up some bracelets. Now, these bracelets are everywhere over TikTok. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to jump on the trend. A bit of costume jewellery for the spring. And it's these. And it's a set. And they're just all like different beads. They're elasticated, so they're easy to get on. All different size beads. And you just layer them up. They had these in silver as well and in rose gold. They are lovely. And again, as cheap as anything and, you know, just to add a little something, something to an outfit. I love costume jewellery. It's, it's, it's just one of those, isn't it? I'll put one in there that doesn't belong in there. This is on. <laughs> they are lovely. So, yeah, costume jewellery. It's cheap, it's cheerful and it, it just... Elevates an outfit, doesn't it? Especially in the spring and the summer when you can layer up different metals and, you know, have a ton of bangles. Up. Do you remember when we used to do that when we were kids as well? Put loads of bangles up your arm. I used to have loads. But yeah, they're really nice. And then the last little set is this. And it's, again, a, a bangle set of three. So you've got let me just pop it out of my hand so you can see it. So you've got like this snake one here. And then there's a this big linked one. And then there's this bangle. But this one's stretchy. These actually have got fasteners on them. And it's just a little set of three. So, you know, you could wear all of those together on one arm. Or you could separate them and wear on each arm. But I just love the little stack of bracelets and necklaces. And yeah, cheap and cheerful again. So that's everything that I got in the way of jewellery and home and the little gadget. So let's move on to the fashion part now. OK, so you'll be seeing an overlay again of how these items looked on me versus how they looked on the website. I'll put the picture on the screen. OK, so the first outfit these were separate, but I bought, you know, them to match. So there wasn't a two-piece. There was separates, but I'm going to show you them, how I've, how I've put them together, okay? So the first thing is this little cream top, and it's just a, a little boob tube. It's ruched at the sides, and then it's longer at the front than it is at the back. And you can ruch this up. Oh, actually, no, that's elasticated. So you can tie that up or you can leave it hanging. And it's just in this cream rib material. I love the shape of it. And then the trousers are these cargoes. Now, in this clip that you're going to see now, I team these two together. These cargoes are stunning. And I love the little top. It pairs up with the cargoes. The cargoes have got 
a cream waistband, elasticated waistband, and then it drops down into the trousers. So you've got like the cream waistband with the belt loops and then it goes down into the trousers and the cargo pockets on the side and then at the bottom on the ankle they are zipped and the quality of these trousers is incredible the tie works around the waist as well so you can cinch it in they're just beautiful and I think pairing them with a pair of cream trainers or white trainers like I've got on here, well they're a bit off-white and a nice bag, it just finishes the outfit off and it's a gorgeous spring day out shopping with the girls or you know pop into the pub for a lunch or yeah a bottomless brunch anything like that it's abs an absolutely gorgeous um outfit and i love it it's one of my favorites in this haul i do like everything now but these trousers they are absolutely gorgeous and as i say they are combats and they've got this zip detail at the ankle as well which you could have open but i just left it closed and the fit on them is gorgeous and i got everything in a size 16 i do believe and they've got these little pockets on the back as well. The detail is beautiful. Love that little outfit. And I think the trousers and the top go together perfectly. The next little outfit is this little grey number. This top is beautiful. It's this little ribbed, grey ribbed cropped top. And it's got like this corset detail at the front. But it's not too cropped. It comes just on your, your waist. It's absolutely beautiful. The material is gorgeous. Like I say, it's ribbed, it's stretchy, it's beautiful. And I teamed it with these grey sweatpants that you can see here. These are so comfortable. You could wear them for lounging, you could wear them for going out. They've got pockets, they've got a gorgeous thick waistband, wide leg, really, really on trend. And this outfit I just paired again with a nice bag and some white trainers, very casual. You could actually dress this up. You could put a nice um, belt round the middle and put some heels on and a blazer. Or you could just keep it casual like I have or with a denim jacket or a biker jacket. It would look absolutely beautiful and it's so, so comfortable. These bottoms are gorgeous these pants are gorgeous pockets as I say they've got pockets and they just feel really really lovely quality and I think the top and the bottoms together again are a fab little outfit for a spring day out with like I said a blazer or a denim jacket or yeah an oversized cardigan even would look nice love love that little outfit now the next one is a little bit more dressy. It's a two-piece. This actually did come as a two-piece. So on trend at the moment. So on trend. If you haven't got one, get one. And it's a waistcoat set. They're everywhere. They're doing them in denim and different patterns. They're everywhere. So this one is just a plain black waistcoat. And it's got three buttons down the front and it goes into the point like a proper waistcoat. The material is lovely. It's not really thick. It's very lightweight, but not too lightweight. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the trousers are super wide leg with belt loops and pockets. Again, really nice fit. True to size. Size 16 I got in these. Fits absolutely perfect. I probably could have got away with it, um, a, um, a large in the top, but it didn't come like a separate. So yeah, so it's a little bit big, perhaps like on you know by the armpit. But that's no problem. You could even put something underneath this, like a, a t-shirt, you know, or a blouse or something, and dress it really dress it up. I just put it on with my Manola Blahnik shoes and um, a nice bag perfect for a date night or even if you work in an office you know or you go into a, a business meeting 
beautiful outfit i absolutely love it now i've got um, a hen party coming up and we've got to wear all black and i think this is going to be the outfit that i take with me to wear for the hen party meal when we've got to wear all black it's gorgeous and i feel so comfortable in it and it fits absolutely perfectly i can't recommend this enough if you're looking for a little two-piece and as i say so on trend at the moment waistcoats are massive for this season now the next thing i could have done with ironing <laughs> but i didn't but it's this beautiful shirt dress it's gorgeous material it feels so soft in white they did have it in other colors and then it's got this frill round the bottom as you can see and it comes up at the sides it's absolutely gorgeous now what i did because it comes quite high up at the sides you'll be seeing it in the cutaway now what i did i put a pair of denim shorts underneath and paired it with some knee boots i put my jimmy chew boots on and my christian dior straw bag i paired it with that and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous you could even put like um a straw hat on or a cowboy hat you could put a belt around the middle it like i said it needs ironing but i didn't iron it <laughs> you know me and ironing but it's such a nice outfit i felt great in this and i think with the tan boots and the straw bag this outfit was just yeah a I'd say an 8 out of 10. If it had been ironed, I'd have given it a 10 out of 10. But I did iron it, so yeah. I definitely will iron it the next time I wear it. But again, perfect spring outfit. I think this would look nice with um, a tan belt round it as well. But I tend not to put belts round because... You know, I'm on the curvier side and I think, you know, sometimes if you put a belt around the middle, it emphasises what you've got going on in your midriff area. It emphasises your hips and your stomach. And I think when you wear looser stuff and are more a little bit oversized, it skims over it all and it just fits and looks better. You know, you're not, I mean, I'm not saying don't, show your curves because i love showing my curves but when it comes to stuff like that i think if you cinch it in with a belt it just makes you look a bit like you know out of proportion round here it just emphasizes all that so i probably wouldn't put a belt round here but if you're on the thinner side uh, i think a nice thick brown belt round that would look really really nice i love that outfit now, the last couple of things I've got to show you, I didn't try on because they're just basics, really. So I've got three basic long sleeve T-shirts. So there's grey. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm not very well off for these basic tops and I didn't realise. So I'm trying to get a few ready for the spring. But these would go through to autumn as well because they've got long sleeves. You could use them for layering. So I've got grey, just a, a plain basic long sleeve tee with a round neck. And in the pack there was grey, there was black. You could wear these with so many different things. And there was also white. So I've got the white in the, the pack of three, grey, black and white. And I think they did different colours as well, you know, in the packs. But I went for the basic, you know, neutral colours. Love those. And then I also got some bras. These were a pack of two. I've actually got one on at the moment, which I've wore today. And it's these. And they're just stretchy, plain um, bandeau bras. They have got built-in cups. They do come out, the cups do. And they've also got this like bit of silicone round the top to stop them dropping down. And down the sides uh, is deep as well and really stretchy. And I love the scallop detail. And I tell you, so comfortable. As I say, I've got one on there which I've used underneath the clothes that I've been trying on and yeah pack of two bras black and nude is the other colour as you can see here it's peeping through <laughs> so yeah I think they did black and white or all black or white all nude but perfect really really comfortable 
especially with the spring and summer coming up, you know, where we do tend to wear um, strapless stop tops, perfect. And then I also got three like sports bras, again, pack of three. These are really comfortable. They're not underwired or bound or padded or anything. They're just these bras. I like to sleep in these. I really do. I got these in an extra large. So comfortable. So stretchy. They've got like this stretchy band around the bottom. Really, really comfy. White, nude and black in that pack as well. Pack of three. And I think they did the same. They did... Uh, you could get all black, all nude, all white, or, or a mix. And I went for a mix because you can wear those under anything then, can't you? But as I say, I do like to sleep in these kind of bras with a little pair of like uh, women's boxes, in, especially in the spring and summer when, you know, it's a bit warmer. Love those. I also <laughs> picked up another pair of slippers. I know, I know. But, yeah, you can't go on Timu and not buy some slippers. Look at these. They're gorgeous. But I've actually bought these to go up the new caravan. And they're in this gorgeous, soft, like, um, cord dry, but not cord dry, if you know what I mean. They've got the cord dry look, but they don't feel like cord dry. They're really soft with this little bow. And they're really squidgy. So, so nice. So, yeah, I just got those to go up to the boat yard to use up there. And they just look like plastic on the bottom. Love those. And then the last thing, of course, is a pair of pyjamas. <laughs> these, the material, oh, my gosh, they're so soft. And I bought these for the spring. So it's a little T-shirt with these gorgeous little roses all over in like that peachy nude kind of colour. And it's just a plain t-shirt with a round neck, short sleeves. And as I say, the material is so, so nice. It really is. And there's just a little pair of shorts that go with. Perfect for the warmer evenings. Absolutely love those. And that was the last item from this haul, my darlings. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I love Timo. You guys know you can just spend on there and scroll on there forever. I'm always on there. I mean, I've even got Les into it now. <laughs> my basket. Excuse me, my basket is full again. So I will be doing another order as well. And I will have left the discount code on the screen for you at the beginning of the video. And it'll be here again now. Download the app, use the discount code and start shopping. And you'll get £100 worth of coupons if you download the app and use my discount code as well. So... Yeah, thank you again, Timu, and thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to go and, uh, yeah, just edit this video and chill out for the rest of the evening, have something nice to eat, and I will see you all in the next one. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. I love you guys loads. See you soon. ta ra -bit.